The Chicago Sky snapped their two-game losing streak last night when they defeated the Los Angeles Sparks by 10 points, a game in which Marina Mabry really came alive as well did Dana Evans. We'll talk about all and more right after this. Welcome to Chicago Sky Central, and here's your host, Hayes. What's going on, Sky fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Sky Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Sky related. I'm the host here, Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Chicago Sky Pod on every social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, first, let me apologize to you guys for being late for the post game show. Your boy was tired. Do work a full time job. I was a little tired last night, but got to see the skies win. I just did not want to come on to the post game show and not have the energy needed to really talk about this team and the way that they performed last night. It was a really good game to see. We're going to have quotes from like Marina Mabry and even Teresa Rutherspoon on the return of Camilla Cardoso, which we're going to get in the next game. But, you know, in this game overall, Marina Mabry stepped up and played like the star that the sky need her to play with. It's going six of 14 from the field, all six of her makes being from the three point range for. 20 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, only 1 turnover as well in this game. And she had the highest plus minus of plus 17. You know, her and Angel Reese actually tied, which we're going to talk about how Angel Reese impacted the game without even really scoring a lot in that game. But Marina Mabry was the star in the making for the Chicago Sky team. At one point in the third, the Chicago Sky held a 21-point lead over the Los Angeles Sparks. And while, yes, they only ended up winning by, by uh, 10, they really commanded that game throughout the Chicago Sky won every single quarter but the third quarter in this game, and they lost that third quarter by nine points. But overall, the Sky just, this was the type of bounce back win that the Sky needed against an inferior opponent. I know that their records are not that uh, dissimilar from one another, but the Sky are just a better and more sound defensive team, and the offense really played extremely well last night. You also got 15 points from Dana Evans going 7 of 16 from the field, four assists, five steals in this game as well, one block as well from Dana Evans, who's usually the smallest player on the floor three turnovers but had a plus minus of plus nine but Dana Evans really understood where and when she needed to get her offense uh, yesterday played much better as far as heads up with the pace of the game and we got a really good performance from Dana Evans as much as Marina Mabry is going to be talked about in this game you cannot overlook the impact from Dana Evans and what she had on both the offense and defensive side of the ball this is the pit bull that we need Dana Evans to be and if she can continue to be like this I know the only four assists and people are going to look at well Marina Mabry had more than more assists than her but that goes to what I've been saying like the Sky don't run this traditional type offense where it really comes down to the point guard dictating the half-court offense. Marina Mabry is going to do a little bit of that. Kennedy is going to do some of that as well. Diamond's going to do some of that. And Dana's going to do a little bit of it. They really share it, and they do play from the inside out. They're starting to do that a little bit more in, in a game like this as well. But Dana Evans, as much as we've talked about how Dana Evans has, you know, kind of shot the sky out of games, kind of, you know, looked for a shot where she should be looking to pass, she played extremely well in this game. And you can't overlook the impact that Dana Evans had in this game as well, playing really good for the Chicago Sky, especially down the stretch of that game as well, especially with Angel Reese having five fouls in this game. Dana Evans, the other players, they really stepped up big time in this game. Elizabeth Williams. This is why Elizabeth Williams is a player that can fit on any roster, going 6 of 9 from the field, uh, 17 points, 11 rebounds, 1 assist, 4 blocks, 4 steals. Elizabeth Williams had the type of game that, you know, We've always talked about E. Will as a player that can really pick her spot. She does all the dirty work no matter what you need and call her to do. That's what she's going to do in that game. Her role is going to change each and every game for the Chicago Sky based on who's playing well, who's not playing well, who may be in foul trouble. And with Angel Reese being in foul trouble in portions in that game, they needed a little bit more offense from Elizabeth Williams, and she stepped that up big time, having four offensive rebounds out of those 11 offensive rebounds as well. Elizabeth Williams played extremely well for this team um, overall also. we we'll get to Angel Reese here in a second, but I also want to talk about Kennedy Carter coming off the bench. Talked about in the pregame show how the bench, right? We need balance from the bench, but a large part of our bench scoring is going to always come from Kennedy Carter. She goes 6-10 of 10 from this field, 1-2 of two from three-point range. She chips in 14 points, four assists, one rebound as well in this game, and she just only two turnovers, four fouls. We, you know, she plays with such high energy, 
it's going to be kind of difficult to keep her from getting in foul trouble sometimes, especially against more athletic, you know, type guard type players and things like that with teams that run a, a, a lot of uh, well athletic guards. So that that kind of comes with the with the territory in this one. But you got that from her, 14 points from her, and then everybody else on the bench. When you look at it, they combined for a total of. Nine other points off the bench from the Chicago Sky, and then the added 14, that's 23 points off the bench for the Chicago Sky. That's how we need the bench to perform. If Kennedy Carter is going to be being able to score in double digits 14 points, we don't need a whole hell of a lot of points for everybody, but we need people to be efficient, right? Isabel Harrison still trying to work her way back. She goes one of four from the field. She does play 12 minutes, gets two rebounds, one assist in that time, the two points. That all works greatly for uh, the Chicago Sky. We need her to, of course, shoot more effectively. But then you look at everybody else, basically. One of one from Breonna Turner. Three points, four rebounds. She understood the role that she needed to do. Michaela Oniwerde, seven minutes. She took four shots in those seven minutes. Two points, one assist, one rebound. We need her to be a little bit better. But Lindsey Allen as well, playing really good in her 11 minutes coming off the bench. But then we got to talk about. Uh, Angel Reese as well in this game. I said she was tied for the highest plus minus. Now, plus minus isn't everything. It isn't always indicative of the exact impact that you make. Sometimes it's more of the team. But she goes three of eight from the field, six rebounds, three of those being offensive rebounds, three assists, two steals as well in this game. Yeah, she had two turnovers. She had five personal fouls, only six points. But you got to see the energy from uh, uh, from Angel Reese, and that is how Angel Reese can impact games even when she's not scoring. The key, timely rebounds, the getting extra opportunities for the Chicago Sky on offense, the steals, keeping her head up, playing in the passing lanes. This was not the easiest game for Angel Reese, but it still she still was able to have a positive impact on this game because of the way that she's able to play and how high of an IQ basketball player she is as well on top of all of that. And overall, the offense in this ga- g- game looked much better and Marina Mabry talked about it after the game saying it's having that patient offensively sometimes it's just better to move the ball and get the easier shot and that was something we worked on from last game because we felt we didn't do it as much and that is something that you notice from this team the ball didn't stick while Marina Mabry did score a team high 20 uh, points had those seven assists this is something that you really saw the team had the effort of passing more and getting everybody involved more. And that's going to come down to Marina Mabry as well. When she's able to hit the shots at the accuracy that she did last night, of course, you know, she's going to be able to facilitate more off her because the defenses are going to have to key in on her. That is why it's hugely important that the offensive weapons that we do have in Dana, Kennedy, Marina Mabry, Diamond DeShields, these are our kind of our offensive workhorses in a lot of ways. Diamond hasn't bid that for a couple of games, but we know that she can be that. But when those players are playing well and you're moving without the ball, it's going to get everything so much easier for the Chicago Sky, a team that, that you know, we have our struggles offensively. And, of course, Marina Mabry hitting six uh, three-point shots helps that as well. When you look at it overall for the Chicago Sky yesterday, 7 of 19 from, from the three-point range in that. 36%. That's solid. It's it's not great, but it's solid enough, right? Yeah, we could use Dana to hit. If she even goes one of two, that's a little bit better. Uh, but when you look at it, only four players took three-point shots for the Chicago Sky last night. Diamond to Shields, Marina Mabry, Dana Evans, and Kennedy Carter. Oh, only where they took one as well, so five in her seven minutes. But most of our three-point attempts are going to be coming from those players. So if they can hit it efficiently overall, that's going to help add some spacing. And, you know, we talked about in the last daily episode how spacing is important as well. And so it's it's really good. It's really good into that. Um, and so Marina Mabry kind of understanding how to work on her post-game, mid-range game, getting to the basket, passing, it's going to help the Chicago Sky be a much more fluid offense. And not to put it all on her, because it's not all on her, but she is a big part in that offense, being able to operate the way that we needed to operate as a Chicago Sky team. She also said this, having teammates that are willing to get me the ball at places that I can be successful and then being unselfish about it. We have to be an unselfish offensive team if this offense is going to look anywhere close to being decent. Last night, it looked decent it's against the L.A. Sparks team that, you know, that we that we know is competitive, right? That is going to – it's not going to be easy. So, you know, the Sky getting a 10-point victory, leading that game basically throughout most of that game, that's going to be important. And you still got to look at it, man. This team is still – We know that we have talent. Marina Mabry saying that as well, saying, look, look at the talent we have on this team. We have players that can really get up and pressure. And that's without Camilla Cardoso coming in. And I know I've been talking a lot about Camilla lately, and I don't want to make it seem like it it means uh, everything about just Camilla coming back, but 
her being able to put pressure on the defense with her ability to run is going to be a huge, important part of this. And so, you know, it, 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 this team is getting excited. Uh, Coach uh, 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 Weatherspoon as well talking about, you know, how this team, as far as getting healthy, how important this is for this team. She said this. We're excited to have her on the court as far as Camila Cardoso and the smile she's having right now. She puts a big smile on our face just because she gets out there and she's pain free. And that's the most important thing. She said that before the game yesterday. Camilla coming back, our third overall pick, coming back before an important game against the Indiana Fever. And I say that's important. We know the Fever don't have the best record, but it's important because that game is going to be on ESPN. That's going to be one of the first times that national eyes are on the Chicago sky when they play tomorrow at 1 p.m. Chicago time. This is going to be a big and important game for the sky, and so you need to look at that. Uh, Weatherspoon also saying she puts in work, trusts her training, she knows what she's been through, and she's a story for everyone to pay attention for. For her to say that she's pain-free, we know that uh, we're going uh, the right uh, thing to keep her healthy. I'm sorry, that's actually about Diamond DeShields. Um, a a pain-free DeShields and a free mind to play – when you get those uh, kinds of athletes, you're going to get something special. Listen, Diamond Shields was our second leading scorer. She's come down to 9.8 points per game. We understand that that's because she's had some rough games. But this guy team getting healthy is going to be an important part. As the uh, Chicago Sky are doing what I asked them to do. I, t I talked about when we knew that Camilla was going to return June 1st. I looked at it and said, we got six games. If we can go three and three, be 500 over that time and get everybody back healthy after that point to ride it out between now and the All-Star break, this is the move that you want to make. This is the position that the Chicago Sky really ideally want to be in. You're getting healthy. You've gone through some trials. You faced off against some teams that are truly, 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 truly uh, 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 championship contenders in this league, and you've beat two of them, right? You've beaten two of them. And so... The, the sky to continue, the, you know, to build that confidence is really going to be important, but you also got to look at the the play, right? And Dana Evans, as much as we've talked about her point guard play, you know, she, she showed a lot in last game. And she also said this, it starts with me as a point guard. I have to get us settled down. When they go on runs, we think we have to make it back up or make it up in one possession. I have to do a better job at putting us in better positions. I know it's easy to say the right things. But it's harder to say them and execute them. Last night, Dana Evans did a lot of that. Now, we need to see it more consistently from Dana, for sure, right? And we need to see that play. But having a Dana Evans, a Marina Mabry, that are kind of the calming factors of this offense and can get us into more half-court sets – it's going to be really big for the Chicago Sky. So that's what I want to see. That's what I hope to see continue to, to build for this team. We're we're doing the right things at the right time. And I like how the Sky learned from their two losses, right? You're going to have losses. You're going to have rough patches in the season. This is not a Chicago Sky team that's like a front runner to win the title or anything like that. But we have to go through these ups and downs. And through the first six games of the season, we've had our fair shares of ups, ups and downs. Now it's how do, we how, how do we build off of that? How do we take those losses that we've had? How do we take those down moments and turn those into wins for our team? That's the next step for the Chicago Sky team. And it is what it is, man. Teresa Weatherspoon, lover, saying it's big when you take a look at, at the scoring and, and it's being shared. It's difficult to defend a team when you're sharing the ball and moving the ball. And that's what the Chicago Sky are going to have to do. Share the ball. Move the ball around. Get everybody involved in your offense. Having Elizabeth Williams, for example, E. Will being as big of a part in scoring as much as she did last night, that's demoralizing for teams when a player that's not looked at as a scorer is killing you scoring-wise and getting a double-double on your head on top of the, your, your energy player in Angel Reese being in foul trouble. The Sky handled this extremely well, and this is the type of win that can build some momentum. And the Sky, they got a test coming up tomorrow against the Indiana Fever tomorrow on ESPN. You cannot overlook how important this game is going to be for the Sky. Like I said, the the, the Fever have their own tribulations and, and trials that they're going going through for sure. They're only 1-8 on the season, but this is a big matchup because all eyes, as far as a lot of the basketball world, are going to be focused on what the Chicago, how the Chicago Sky are able to compete. Pete. Caitlin Clark's had a rough start of the season, as all rookies have had in a lot of degrees, right? But you can't let her go off against you. You can't let her get her momentum against the Chicago Sky on ESPN, no less. Let's see how the Sky are going to handle that. And so, you know, like I said, really good win by the Chicago Sky. Hats off to the Los Angeles Sparks as well. They competed in that game. Listen, I tell you what, 
Rakia Jackson, I know she only scored 10 points, going four or five from the field as well. She's going to be a stud. Her and Cameron Brink, I like the, what, they, what they're building down there. And Derricka Hamby, uh, man, 9 of 19, but 24 points, 13 rebounds uh, in that team, three steals, three assists. She was all over the court as well. And so, you know, while this guy led by double digits most of that game, let's not act like this was not a game where they had their own test in as well because they absolutely did. But shout out to our Chicago Sky for going out and getting the dub. And let's go out and get another one on Saturday. Let's get above 500. Can the Sky do that? Let's hope so, but we'll be covering it right here at Chicago Sky Central every single day. Make sure you guys stay in tune with us. You can follow us at Chicago Sky Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Sky Central at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the mailbag, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Sky related, and that's thanks to you guys. And I'll see you guys the next time we go to Skytown, which is going to be tomorrow, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Media.